What's up, everybody? This is Louis B. Uh, doing his part to make America great again. Uh, I want to speak about uh, Milo Yiannopoulos. Uh, it's getting blown out of proportion, in my opinion. Uh, it seems like it's like a whole let's get a whole gotcha thing instead of actually looking into um, looking into what he actually said and what he actually meant. Um, like, look, and I'm I'm gonna uh, go along with the whole. Uh, I'm I'm gonna uh, agree with uh, Alex Jones' analysis. Like, first of all, yeah, he's gay and all that, and he admitted that he was that he was molested. Here's the thing: he was talking about him being a victim of um, sexual abuse by a priest, which. It's kind of funny because that's one of the acceptable jokes that the the left allows when it comes to dissing on men. Like, oh my god, you got your ass diddled by the priest. <laughs> every fucking leftist comedian or even a, every leftist like lame, period, makes a fucking priest fucking little boy joke. Now that Milo Yiannopoulos admits that he was a 13-year-old boy and he got molested by a priest, and, you know, honestly, I believe that uh, what Alex Jones said is some sort of Stockholm Syndrome. That um, he, uh, the reason why he became gay was because he was molested. Probably, honestly, imagine if Milo wasn't uh, molested. That could very, very, very well be it. Some sort of mental pain that maybe he still hasn't fucking processed fully. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a psychiatrist. I, I, I know very little about psychology, but from the shit that I've read and seen, you know, that could probably be very well be it. Um, and honestly, fuck the left for being so insensitive uh, when it comes to that when it comes to him it's like it's a whole gotcha we got him we got him on something um it's it's lazy it, it's just it's just it just proves how fucking degenerate they are um what's this liberal seeks conservatives hi I'm Alex I'm a liberal all my friends are liberal my news feed is one sided alright all right, so it's it's just amazing, um, amazing as far as sick. Oh, okay. I'm trying to, I'm trying to like gather my thoughts because I'm doing this shit on the fly, walking through my neighborhood, gotta get some shit done. Um, like, but he admits he and he has spoken out against pedophilia. It's disgusting. Me personally, I believe it should be a capital crime. I believe the whole provision in the Constitution that says that's uh, that says uh, uh, cruel and unusual punishment should be. Um, oh God, I'm fucking up the words here. It's probably because my sugar's low. I haven't eaten yet. Um, shouldn't apply to pedophiles. They should they should be murdered and drawn and quartered. Like, as painful as possible. Because that is the most disgusting thing you can do. The most. Freaking attacking something. Like, it, it just it just angers me. And I'm glad that a lot of these pedophiles are getting, are getting exposed. I cheer when I hear a father murders their child's abuser. And I cheer even louder when it found, when it's found out. Oh, they're not gonna be charged. So, Milo, I feel bad for Milo personally, uh, cause no one should have to have gone through that. No one should even know what that feels like. And honestly, I believe Milo has some mental damage, if if not a lot of mental damage, from being sexually abused as a 13 year old boy I think he's still dealing with some form of confusion and that's not to say hey you know 
homosexuality is not natural, like whatever. But if it's true, like I mean, maybe maybe his homosexuality is not natural, his personal. The fact that uh, you know it, it, it was it was it, it had a a catalyst of being raped. Um, another point I want to make is it just this really proves how fucking um, hypocritical the left is because remember when your feminist fucking messiah Lena Dunham admitted in a book that she molested her sister for many years and made it sound like it was a fucking positive experience yet oh my god she gets to keep her fucking show she gets to keep her fucking show you got all these fucking bitches out here saying, oh my god, Lena Dunham is a fucking, uh, a, a fucking genius. Oh, she's so funny. Da, 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 da. Like, honestly, ladies, I mean, I'm just going to throw this out there. Quit being fucking mediocre when it comes to entertainment. Like, it, like, look, honestly, in my opinion... Lena Dunham should be put to death for what she did to her sister. That shit is disgusting. The fact that she even puts it out there uh, and tries to put a positive spin on it. Like, like, honestly, Lena Dunham is the predator. Milo was the prey. Big fucking difference. And the fact that it's like, it just... It, it just really proves, and then it's like this. Instead of instead of having a discussion on probably um, you know the possibility of there being pedophile rings that are run by both Republicans and Democrats, should scare us. The fact that fucking uh, you know. Uh, this whole, uh, all this child pornography on the dark web that is so prevalent, that it's so widespread, is international, should scare us. It should anger us. The fact that poor Milo had to go through that, and your response is because you don't like what the fuck he says politically about other things, it's like you're, 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 like, you're screaming... Like you're 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 celebrating in victory. Like really think about that. A man talks about how he was a victim of child molestation, and just because you don't like the person, his politics, his political beliefs, or his uh, or who he supports, you're screaming in fucking victory when he's talking about his own abuse. Yes, I believe Milo's confused. I believe he has something wrong with him to believe that he enjoyed it. He's damaged. He needs pity. He needs help. But if you're not if you're going to punish Milo for being a victim and you're not going to punish Lena Dunham for being a predator, And the most Louis B thing I could say to that is, go fuck yourselves.